I cannot figure out what's going wrong, so I'm just going to do it all over and see if that works. So first I'm going to delete this old repackaged thing, because it doesn't work. And now, go to my server and recreate it. So, um, uh, here, okay, uh, and now here, all right, so I get out of here, and um, I'm going to just do all the steps over, so let's, um, I'll, I'll do the important steps over, there's some of it I don't think I need to do again, all right, so let's go up here, I had, the probably the most likely thing is I somehow fouled up the part where you put the, no, I found the address, that's why, I don't know, I'm going to have to create a new config file, that should create a new certificate somehow it's not accepting the certificate so i wonder if i have to use a later version um that would be the next thing to try so you know let's just try that right now that's a pretty good idea let's get the latest version it might mean that one of the flags is unavailable but at least i can do some of the work um, it may be that that somehow these old versions can't be used like years later so yeah did you have an idea You got it working just by doing this, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, thank you. So I don't need a later version. It just means I made a mistake, which is pretty common when I'm doing these live demos. I must have skipped a step or something. So I'll just try doing the whole thing over. Good. I'm glad to hear it. I don't need to use an old, a new version. So let's just go here. All right, let me just get rid of what I've got, which is um, uh, cd dot dot. All right. And let's go here and stop this thing and cd dot dot and remove minus rf velocity raptor directory. All right, so now I'm back to a clean state and I probably just skipped a step doing things so fast. So I need to create a directory, w get the thing, shimode x and run it. I should be able to copy all these commands at once. And I missed the l in yaml, so I'll fix that at the other end. All right. All right, so that creates the directory, downloads the thing, now I make the config.yaml. All right, the most likely step to mess it up is changing the IP address. Um, so I need the IP address. Although it wouldn't have uh, given that error message if I got this wrong. So I'm actually quite confused what I skipped, but I must have missed a step. All right, now I um, nano the config. Let's go check that. Yeah, no, config.yaml. Okay, now replace localhost and 127 with the thing in the clipboard. Control W, Control R, localhost with this thing. And then yes, yes. And then Control W, R, 127.001 with this thing. Yes, yes, yes. Save that. Okay. Now move it here, which will override the one I made before. And then run it. This will create the user account, which I think I do have to do again, because I think when I uh, overwrite the configuration, I think it vanishes. So let's go here. All right. That copied it. That creates the administrator. Here's a password. All right. And I'm just looking to see if I can spot a step I skipped here. Now I start the server. Of course, this worked. When I saw it in the GUI, all this worked. It was the client, which is what usually goes wrong. This is actually the most common thing that happens to students. They can't get the client to connect. Usually for making a mistake with that nano stuff. So 338889 is the server, and that's here, 338889. Let's get rid of this extra stuff. All right, good. So advanced and accept the risk. And here we are. And if I go here, I have no, wait, I have a client. What? That must be some old data left over from the previous one. Okay. It's probably going to fall to zero after a while. Okay. Anyway, um, all right. 
Let's go back here. Now I got to make the windows. This is where the most likely mistake is going to be. Um, okay. I have to nano this thing and put in that self signed SSL below. Go scroll down to the first end certificate line. I think I went to the right place, but uh, somehow I fouled it up. If anybody spots my error, let me know. All right, there's the thing. Now I go down to the first end certificate line right here. Put in the spaces and paste in that uh, this thing. Use self-signed SSL. That's it. All right. Okay, so this will go to the right directory. This will make the client config, download the Windows thing, and create the repackage thing. There really isn't much to go wrong here. see that the, uh, well, I see my window is not getting into the part that's broadcast. All right, there we are. All right, so that's made the repackage thing. Now, uh, what did it use for config? Config repack, this. Wait a minute. Client config.yaml is here. Wait a minute. I think I edited the wrong file. The client, no, it's creating client config. I'm not so sure. Let's take a look at this. Is there a client config? No. So what is this client config.yaml? All right. Uh, let me try to understand these instructions. You referred to something called client config. Oh, the command is client. It's making a client config. Okay. Yeah, this is creating config clients into client config.yaml. So you notice that, but where is the client config.yaml? That didn't seem to happen. Unless it get moved somewhere, but I don't think it did. So I should have a client config.yaml and I don't. This does, oh, there it is, client config.yaml. Okay, made this file. Now I want to see what the IP address is in that file. It's right. Okay. Um, wonder if it has the self signed. It doesn't. I wonder if it needs to. I think that's, oh, there it is. Use self-signed SSL equals true. All right, I'm not seeing anything wrong with this client config thing. Um, and that should create, okay, so now I should have the, um, if I do, yep, I do have the uh, repackage thing here. Okay, well, let's try it. Um, so now I think I just move it to my Windows machine and run it. All right, let's see. Um, there's my administrator command prompt. Here's my Windows SCP thing. I don't care about your stupid update. Okay, it's 192, 168, 11, 33. What is this garbage? Oh, bing. A lot of people are complaining about all the stupid ads Microsoft puts on your desktop now. And it is annoying. All right. Velociraptor repackaged is here. Put it there. All right. Get rid of this. Terminate. Okay. To a dir. And there it is. So run it. Client minus V. And, uh, now it looks like it's working. It's not complaining anymore. Wow. As far as I can tell, I did exactly the same thing twice, but I think it's working now. 
No, I still have nothing here. Um, home. It might, it should not take much time. Yep, this is going up to one. Show all. It's just not showing up here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, and everything, it says it's working. It's not giving that error message, 409 again. Yeah, received PEM for server, connected, not complaining now. Well, let's try stopping it and putting it in the service. That's what it needs to be. So I'll put it in a service install, right? Go back to the instructions. Um, yep, service install. Okay. Service install. All right. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll stop the recording. Looks like my demos are shot. I, I'm, uh,